Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to just go through one more example of how to build a function from scratch in C++. Um, I think in this one, we'll just make a simple function that allows the user to put the, the length of a cube, uh, type it into C++, and the, the program or the function will actually return the volume of that cube. So first of all, just to get our heads wrapped around this, let's start out in the main function. Um, and this is what the user will be seeing. So first of all, let's see out something to them. We'll say, please enter the length of one side of a cube. Okay, uh, we'll end that line and this way we'll let them type it in on the same line and then we'll define a, a variable for them to actually store what they're about to type in. So we'll call that a double and we'll just have that call it side. We won't initialize it because right away we're gonna have them see in the side just like that. Okay, and then the only other thing we wanna do is we wanna output uh, the results of the function that we're about to build. So here we would have something like C out um, the volume of the cube is, and here we actually have to put, um, I'm just going to comment it out for us right now. Um, this will just be the function output. Okay, and we'll, we'll do this in just one second, and then here we'll just end line. And that's going to be the end of our main function. All right, so we need to figure out what our function output is. But first of all, we need to figure out what our function is. So we're going to go up here above our main function, and we're going to do our new function. So you notice that actually we're going to we're allowing our user to um, only type in a single double here. So the dub, the type of our function that we're going to be building will definitely have to be double because this is the side length that we're going to be passing into it. Let's go ahead and call it something obvious like cube volume, and then. The argument that we're passing in is a double, and inside the function we can call it whatever we want. Let's just call it side length. Um, it's all right that we're going to be passing in a double called side, but once it reaches the here, um, it will be referred to as side length while we're inside the body of the function. This function, okay, so in between these two curly braces, we'll be calling this double that we passed in side length. All right, so then this is actually very simple. If you want to cube something, all you do is you multiply it by itself three times. So we'll define a new variable of double type and we'll just call that volume. And this is simply equal to side length times itself three times. Um, like that and then, right? So we've simply just cubed the side length. And then we're just going to return, if I can spell properly, here we go, return volume. All right, so let's look at this. So the user is going to, actually, you know, maybe we'll, we'll type in here. So the function output, um, we have to run the function. You know, same if we were doing something familiar like pow, like one of those pre-made functions. Now we're just running our own function, which is called cube volume. So there it's even prompting us to uh, put in double side length. In this case, we're passing in this double called side. All right, so what's going to happen when we build and run this? save that all right so when we when we run this program uh, the compiler will come down it will read all this stuff it'll know that there's this function called cube volume and then when it comes into the main function it's ready to start doing things uh, so uh, we'll, we'll prompt the user to input a double called side the user will input that double called side and then when we're going to output um, something the answer to the user uh, we look here and we're calling this function and we're passing inside so say they put in oh um, a two uh, it's going to, this argument here, the two will get passed in as this double side length as two. And then here, um, when we're going to assign uh, something to volume, we're just going to have this double side length as two. So it'll be two times two times two, that will be eight. And then we'll return that volume, which we've just calculated, or we've assigned eight to. And then that's the return value of our function. And so hopefully it should just say the cube volume is eight and an end line. And that's our whole program. Um, and then that's it, that should work properly. So let's just clear up some of these spaces. And let's see if that's actually the case about what's going on. All right, so here we have, it says, um, please enter the length of one side of a cube. Okay, so let's say it's length of two. This could be any units, centimeters or inches or something, whatever. And there we go, it says the volume of the cube is eight. So that's exactly what we expected to happen when we just ran through exactly where is the information going when we're passing it into the function and getting it back out again.
Uh, let's just run one more number through it. For example, if we had a cube that was a side length of three, we should be getting 27. There you go. It's just cubing whatever number we put in. All right, so there you go. That's just one more example about building functions. And uh, now you're probably ready to go build you know, any sort of function that you just want to try out.